Hi guys, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. Going to give you a quick video walk around of this lovely Isuzu D Max Yukon that has arrived in with us. Uh, it's the 2.5 diesel, this one, Euro 5 model. Um, in great all round condition. Um, as we all know, these Isuzus uh, are reliable workhorses and they can go in one of two ways when it comes to condition either used and abused or well looked after. Uh, and this one, I believe is a well looked after example so let's give you a quick walk around it's uh it is a little bit damp here today uh hopefully you'll get an idea i know it's got a bit of water on it but we're not trying to hide anything spade a, a spade here at vans today so i'm going to start off with the windscreen hopefully you can see on the video there are no major stone chips to point out to you moving down onto the bonnet bonnet is nice and tidy We've got a couple of we've got a couple of minor stone chips here. We will get these touched up for you. That is oh no, that's a little chip there. A couple of chips there. We will go around it. Just to quickly explain to you, the video that I'm doing now of the vehicle is basically as it's arrived in with us. Uh, we've given it a very quick wash and leather um, because it was driven into us in the rain yesterday. Um, but uh, we've given it a very quick wash and leather. We haven't given it a full valet yet. You will see that as we go around it. It is not a filthy, dirty vehicle, but I just wanted to let you know that. So really the video as you're seeing it is as the vehicle has come in. Uh, so a couple of stone chips on the bonnet, passenger light unit, grill, and across to the headlamp, driver's headlamp unit, all in good condition. Driver's front bumper corner and fog light. No issues there, no scuffs. Going around to the passenger side, Again, bumper corner, fog light, all in good condition. Uh, a few minor chips again on the front bumper, but again, we'll get those touched up for you. Uh, it is a one owner from new 60,000 mile example after all, so you're going to have to expect a couple of minor chips. But as I say, they are all easily addressed, those are. So looking down the passenger profile of the vehicle, there's no major dents or dings to point out to you. It's a very nice, straight and tidy. Passenger front tire, as you can see, I would suggest they have been recently replaced and there's plenty of tire tread depth on those. The wheel itself, uh, no scuffing, uh, could do with a clean, but uh, all good. Uh, you have front mud flaps fitted to it. Side steps fitted to this vehicle as well. Uh, no major damage to show you on those. All good. Passenger front wing is all good. Passenger mirror unit and indicator and the mirror itself. All in good order. Passenger door itself in good order. As is the rear passenger door. We have minor scratching behind the handles which we will get cleaned and polished for you. The handles themselves are in good working order and in good condition. And then passenger rear tub. Again, lovely condition. No dents or dings to point out to you. Rear mud flap on the passenger side as well. Passenger side rear alloy wheels in good condition. And then passenger side rear tire. Again, plenty of tread depth on there. You've got a Bridgestone jeweler there. So it's got an overbed liner fitted to it. Uh, looking at the rear of the uh, of the front cab, um, it doesn't appear to have had any hard work done to it. Obviously, some of these trucks, you will get people throwing stuff over the top that hits the rear cab and can damage it quite badly. This is in really tidy condition. Load liner. Again, we've not touched it yet, but you can see it's not done a lot of hard work, has it? Uh, yes, it's had some usage, but not a lot of hard work at all. Uh, key way of looking is in between the cab and the rear tailgate. Normally, if they've done a lot of hard work, that will be scratched, full of dirt, dented, etc., etc., where stuff has fallen down the middle of, of the two. As I say, overbed liner all the way around the sides. All good. Rear light unit's in good order. Rear bumper is in good order as well. Rear bumper hasn't been hit or anything. Sometimes when they've been caught, they've hit them and then they've hit in the back here and it's caused issues. But no, this one's all good. Top of the rear bumper 
plastic is good. You can see that it's not chewed to pieces or had any major wear and tear on it. Bumper corner on the driver's side's all good. Rear light unit on the driver's side's all good. And again, going round to the rear tub on the driver's side, all in good order. Rear alloy wheels in good order. Another Bridgestone jeweler with, again, plenty of tread depth. Mud flap again on this side. And then side step on the driver's side, also in good order. Driver's side rear door, all good. Again, minor scratching behind the door handles. We will get that um, all cleaned up for you. Door locks, etc., all in good condition. Driver's mirror unit indicator. And the unit itself is in good order. Driver's doors in good order and driver's front wing, again, all in good order. Alloy wheel on this side, no major scuffing, nice and tidy and clean. And the tire itself, loads of tire tread depth. I would suggest it's recently had a pair of front tires fitted to it. Uh, we've got a little stone chip there, little stone chip there, and a little stone chip there. Again, they're not going rusty or anything. They are there, we will get it cleaned for you. Uh, looking into the vehicle now, we have a little bit of wear and tear on the rear door cards. They've obviously kept something in the door. It has scratched the door cards a little bit. Some of it is dirt, some of it is scuffing. As I've already explained to you, it's as the vehicle has arrived in, we will get it valeted and cleaned for you. Uh, rear carpet, again, requires a valet, but is in good order. Rear of the seats require a valet, but is all in good order. The seats themselves in the back, few little minor marks on there and we do have a little bit of a cut there look we will get our trimmers to sort that out a little bit of wear and tear going on in the seats there roof lining again a bit of a hoover we'll clean that up Opening up the driver's side, entry sill and plastics, not in bad condition at all. Carpets requires a valet, but we will get that sorted for you. Pedal rubbers are all good. Driver's seat entry points aren't in bad condition. The driver's seat itself, all good. Door cards on this side, not too bad at all. Uh, as you can see, electric windows, electric folding mirrors. Uh, we have cruise control on the steering wheel here. It does have Bluetooth telephone system fitted to it as well. It is a leather multifunction steering wheel. There is a driver information system on the dashboard when the dashboard's fired up. We have a FM AM stereo radio CD uh, system there for you, air conditioning and the six speed gearbox. Selectable four wheel drive using this bit here cup holders, armrests, etc. Um, let's say, you're seeing it as it's arrived in, it needs a valet. And let's quickly show you passenger side. Again, entry, painted sills and plastics in good condition. Carpet needing a valet, as we've already discussed. few little snags on the seating on the back here again we can get those looked at can't guarantee we'll get them out but we can get it looked at that's for sure and then entry sill passenger side plastic sill itself carpet is all good dashboard's not bad at all passenger seat let's remove our camera so you don't think I'm hiding anything as I say a valet will improve it immensely but also in the other breath it's not done a massive amount of hard work so there we go uh, we will have uploaded about 40 odd photos onto our website very shortly our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today based in worcester in the center of the country you can contact us on 01905 672 080 email sales at vanstoday.com uh, and you can check us out on all the normal web stuff such as Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc, etc. 
if you need any further information feel free to give one of us a call thank you very much for getting this far into the video we hope it's of interest to you cheers